Hi. Now, if you watched the previous video where I showed you how to simplify questions like this, then I've just got a summary exercise here for you to try. So, give you a moment just to pause the video, come back when ready, and we'll run through the work solutions. Okay, welcome back. If you had a go, let's just see how you got on. Well, first of all, with number one then, we've got four to the power three, or four cubed, divided by four to the power seven. Now, to simplify this, I showed you that all we needed to do was just subtract our powers if they were to the same base. Well, they are to the same base, the base four, and if we subtract the powers, we've got three, take away seven, so that's going to be four to the power minus four. Three take away seven, giving us that minus four there. But if we're simplifying this, the aim is not to leave it with a negative power. So four to the power minus four is exactly the same as one divided by four to the power four. Okay, number two, a squared then divided by a to the power five. Now to simplify this one, again, they're in the same base, base a, so we can then subtract the powers, so we've got that base a there, and then two take away five is minus three. If we don't leave it like that, a to the minus three is the same as one divided by a to the power three, one over a cubed then. Number three, we've got seven to the power minus one. Seven to the power minus one is exactly the same as one divided by seven, one seventh then. Next up, question four here. Let's just copy that down. We've got x squared y divided by x to the power five y cubed. And with this one, we've got the same base here, x is, and we've got the same base here, y. So x squared divided by x to the power five, subtract the powers, and you've got x to the power minus three, two take away the five. And with the y's, we've got y to the power one here, so subtracting the powers, one take away three gives us y to the power minus two. But again, if we change this, not having the negative powers, x to the power minus three is the same as one over x cubed, and y to the power minus two, we're multiplying this by y to the minus two, y to the minus two is one over y squared. And if we multiply these out, we have one times one, which is one, and then on the bottom here we have x cubed times y squared, which is x cubed y squared. Now with practice, it does become unnecessary generally to put stages like this in. You should be able to go from here straight to here. Or you might even be able to go from this first stage directly down to here. But I've just broken down the problem for you. Now number five, what we have got is 12 x cubed y squared, and this is all divided by 14 x y cubed z. So to simplify this one, what I notice is from the point of view of 12 and 14, two goes into both 12 and 14. So we could divide two into 12, giving us six, and two into 14 goes seven. So we end up, first of all, with six sevenths. So we've got six over seven. And then x cubed divided by x, or x to the power one here, just subtract the powers and we've got x squared. And then for the y's, we've got y squared over y cubed. So subtract the powers here, that's going to be y to the power two take three, y to the power minus one then. And as for z, well we have no z's on the top here, so let's just leave the z in the bottom, okay, like that. 
This doesn't look very nice at the moment, so what we can think of this as is 6 sevenths, and then we could think of this as x squared over z, so we multiply 6 sevenths with x squared over z, and then we multiply this by y to the power minus 1. y to the power minus 1 is the same as 1 over y. And when we multiply this all together, tidy it up, 6x squared times 1 is just 6x squared. And then this is all divided by 7zy, or better still, 7yz. Okay, 7yz. And again, with this one, with practice, you should be able to go from here straight the way to this line here. Okay, well I hope that's been a useful exercise for you and uh, that you've been able to see how to do these types of questions.